What can my special needs trust pay for that will not affect my disability payments? Well, that's actually a really good question. First and foremost, you have to consider what the terms of your actual special needs trust say, because the terms are definitively going to dictate what the trustee of the special needs trust can and cannot provide expenditures for, for the beneficiary. One of the most common terms in a special needs trust allows the trustee to have discretion when it comes to certain things that are not going to be covered by public benefits. Some of those things include rehabilitation equipment. Um, other things may even include certain expenditures for vacations or things of that nature if it benefits the well being of the beneficiary. So it's very difficult to give a general standard as far as what the trustee can do that will not affect your disability. Um, but you're going to again have to look at the terms that govern the trust. But anything that necessarily would not be covered by the public benefits programs. So, for instance, let's say you have a beneficiary. Um, who has um, a severe disability with respect to their physical um, being. You're going to be looking at situations where you may have the authority as the trustee um, to pay for specific surgeries, um, possibly elective surgeries that would not be covered by those um, federal programs or even the state programs of which the person is already receiving benefits and entitlement to. So generally speaking, that's what you're looking at. Um, there may be certain expenditures for things such as education, um, even potentially housing allowances. But again, the terms of the trust are going to govern this and uh, special needs trust, especially if you're talking about a self-settled special needs trust, is going to require court approval in order to get it set up and funded. If you have any other questions regarding special needs trusts or their interplay or the responsibilities or duties of a trustee, please give me a call here at Waller & Mitchell at 727-847-2288.